eczema is an itchy condition. The most common form of eczema around seems to be atopic eczema, in which there's a hereditary predisposition to eczema, asthma, and hay fever. It now affects one in five children, and the incidence is on the increase. Uh, but it has a good prognosis, and the numbers are that 50% have grown out of it by the age of two, and they go on getting better with less flares and more emissions until by the age of 13 or 14, 90% have grown out. You get several different types of eczema. Atopic eczema is classically a flexural eczema, that is in the flexures of the upper limbs and behind the knees. The face is commonly affected and you can have it generalized. Then there's allergic contact eczema where you are, you become allergic to things that your skin is in contact with. And there are a large number of potential allergens and they include things like nickel, glues in shoes, perfumes, uh, and finally there is um, discoid eczema which affects young adults and that has no hereditary predisposition and you get discs of thickish eczema with normal intervening skin. Eczema appears as a red flaky rash. If it's infected it can be oozy and shiny. The cardinal symptom of eczema is the itching. It can be severe enough to disrupt sleep. One of the main problems in eczema is drier skin than normal and dry skin is itchy. The way you treat eczema to start with is to moisturize the skin. So you can uh, put oils in the bath. You then give a soap substitute, which is moisturizing because soaps are another agent that dry the skin. You then apply a moisturizer. And on top of that, you put a topical steroid of an appropriate strength onto the inflamed areas. Topical steroids are anti-inflammatory ointments or creams, which work extremely well in eczema, which is an inflammatory condition. There's always a big question about whether steroids are or are not safe, and it depends absolutely on the strength of the steroid that you're applying and the quantity you're applying and how long you're applying it over. But uh, when you've been prescribed it by a competent dermatologist, they will only ever prescribe an appropriate strength and they will instruct you how to apply it, where to apply it and keep a monitor on how much you can apply. The first port of call is definitely your general practitioner uh, who can uh, prescribe moisturizers, who can prescribe appropriate topical steroids. If you have been doing what your general practitioner has advised and the eczema is getting worse, as indeed it often does, um, because you're, you're just that sort of person whose eczema is getting worse, then it's sensible then to be asked to be referred to your local dermatologist.